ever thought you'd have advanced ultrasound diagnosis for deep vein thrombosis in the palm of your hand? Ladies and gentlemen, meet Fuad Al Noor of Think Sono. Thank you very much for listening to me today. So, we've done something seemingly impossible. We've created the world's first software to automatically detect deep vein thrombosis. Now, let me give you some context. Deep vein thrombosis is a blood clot in the deep veins of the leg. And when part of that clot breaks loose, it goes up to the lung and causes something called a pulmonary embolism. And that can lead to death. In fact, 10 million people worldwide are affected by DVT. And it's, it's a very, fairly time critical um, condition, so you need to detect it very quickly. But the treatment is very easy. You can use anticoagulant, and so we know exactly how to treat it. The problem really lies in the diagnosis of DVT. But Today, it's very complicated to diagnose DVT. Let me show you what I mean. The current clinical pathway is very long and com complicated and requires multiple touch points with the healthcare system. Um, in fact, you can boil the problem down to three main components. The first one is it takes a long, long time to diagnose, six to 24 hours from the patient being seen to then being diagnosed with DVT. The second problem is clearly it requires a specialist to do the diagnosis and they're not always accessible. Finally, once you do get all the way at the end, up to 90% of patients that get scanned come back negative, so they don't even have DVT in the first place. Clearly, that's a waste of time for the patient, the specialist, and the healthcare system. It's also very expensive, costing the US and the EU $5.5 billion on diagnosis alone. But we're gonna transform this. Our technology empowers any healthcare professional to detect DVT in less than 10 minutes. Now, this is a very large claim, I know, but it's not magic. Let me show you how it works. Okay, on the left-hand side, what you'll see is it's an ultrasound image, and that's what the specialist is doing or, or looking at when they try to detect DVT, and they're looking for compression in specific parts of the leg. Now, the problem with the image is that you require a specialist that's hard to interpret. On the right-hand side, our technology visualizes veins and arteries. There's no Doppler here. We're just, um, just using the current um, B-mode images. And it's able to guide the user with instructions as well, as well as visualizations to do exactly what the specialist does. In other words, they replicate the same gold standard exam, meaning they have the same accuracy as a specialist, and they can do it in 10 minutes. So that has a huge amount of impact on the healthcare system because the current pathway goes down to this. So you get seen by the, by the nurse or someone else, and then they scan you, and in 10 minutes, you know if you have DVT. And the impact is no specialist is required, reduced waiting times from six hours to 10 minutes, and then finally, it's much, much more efficient. So you can reduce radiology admissions by up to 90%. Now, we have a huge amount of traction to do this, but first of all, we need to talk about how to, it's integrated into the hospital system. So first of all, we're completely hardware agnostic. For example, we can run on a cart-based system or a Philips handheld Lumify, for example. The second point is that it requires very little training, maybe 30 minutes versus a couple of years if you want to be a specialist. And finally, it provides real-time analysis. You can find out immediately whether or not you have DVT. In order to do this, we had to already achieve a huge amount of traction. For example, our technology is completely patent protected and we're already working with more than 50 hospitals in the UK, Germany, and in the US, and you heard some of the hospitals today talk about us. Finally, we're starting clinical trials in 2019. So talking about clinical trials, we're collecting data from Oxford University Hospital from up to 2,000 patients. And then after that, we're doing a multi-centered clinical study, and after that, we're going to get FDA and CE marking and then release into the market. I think the future is with AI and ultrasound, and I think together with Philips, we can create the future. Thank you very much.